recording. Hello Knights, this is Samir the Knight, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 101. This time I'm not on uh, the Nightcraft server, I am on a local server provided by Yami. Yes. So, here she is. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Alright, so today just want to uh, kind of catch up to what we've been doing. So, we came and played on her server instead of that one because things, the way spawning worked on the server wasn't really the best. Um, yeah, it wasn't very uh, authentic to the Minecraft many of you probably know and love. Yes, so essentially we came to her single player world and made it available on a server on her plate. We're just playing over at Kamachi or whatever. And we've just kind of caught up to pretty much what we've been doing. There's a few things which we'll cover in a minute. But I guess to start off is, here's this house we made. Thanks to moi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you should have seen what she had originally. It was... Um... It was... It was suffice for what I needed it to do. Okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. About that. So, <laughs> anyway. So, I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Um, and I'll go over how to make a few of these things in a little bit. Um, so... We got some cats running around the place. I'll show you how to we're gonna get, tame some of those as well. And uh, yeah, watch me just standing on top of the counter. Yep. All right. So this is a cauldron. I'm not gonna cover that now. That's for later on in the series. Uh, paintings. These are different paintings. Uh, to make paintings, I don't have them. Actually, let's head downstairs. We have a basement. This is the basement. A basement oh. that I'm very proud of. Oh, she made it herself, actually. So, yes. And it looks really, really good. I'm actually impressed. So, thank you for that. Um, so, we just have a whole bunch of stuff. Let me see if I can find the materials I need for this. Oh. Okay, so we have some wool. Do you have any sticks? Do you have sticks on you, by any chance? Yeah. Like a lot of sticks? I have seven. I can make more. Uh, no, it's not enough, but whatever. That's, that's fine. Anyway, point is... Actually, I need six anyway, so... I'm there, gonna make a few. More. Oops. There's more. On the floor. It's fine. Anyway, so this is how you make paintings. You use sticks, and you piece to put a wool in the middle, and you get a painting. Uh, I'm not going to make one, because we don't need one at the moment. But, the way they work is that you put it down, and it gives you a random... Ran ugh, can't speak. Random painting. Like the two ones you saw upstairs. Um, and they're different sizes, so they're just a cosmetic effect for your house. Um, looks good, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, besides that, just a lot of sorting and stuff. We built this house. We have like this. Uh, these are just stairs. Did I cover how to make stairs? Do you remember? Um, no, it, no, because in our old world, we didn't have stairs. We had All a right. one-level house. Well, to make stairs, there's you can make it out of different materials. But essentially, you just make a little triangle of sorts, and it works both ways, so you can do it um, in this direction, and also. And it also works for different materials, so I can do it with cobblestone, for example. So that's how you make stairs. And it also works for the different, all the four different kinds of wood. So this is the jungle tree wood, and, and the reason right we have... Here, a, over what? here you can see the other wood. Yeah, this is from the the normal oak wood. The m main reason we have all this jungle wood is because we live right next to a jungle, as you can see. So, yeah. Anyway, let's head upstairs, and we'll show you the rest of the house. So, this is supposed to be the, I guess, the bedroom or something, I guess. Um, we're going to be decorating this a lot more. You're in the floor. No, I'm not. You're in the floor. No, I'm not. You'll see the video. Don't worry. <laughs> And this is a TV of sorts, and we'll be adding and more stuff to this eventually. And then this leads up to the attic, which... We haven't done with yet. Yeah, we we'll just lit it up so we don't get sh shanked in our sleep by Enderman. Yeah. Um, so that about covers the house. And you just use, like, st this decorating tip, I guess. You can use stairs or slopes to make uh, the slope like that, and... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I guess. <laughs> so, what else? 
to be you guys you made this farm area a lot of interesting stuff here I guess we made also these pens we I showed how to make fences before and we just make fences for the, these three animals we haven't found any cows yet though actually yeah which is interesting but uh, we'll find them eventually this fence right here we didn't put this up for any purpose but the cats yes they when, are retarded when you get so. them they, they are retarded <laughs> they have fallen into this ravine of death many times so we decided to put the fence up yep yep and thus they have not fallen in yet unfortunately moment of silence his cats got killed by a creeper <sighs> <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and that's why we're going to be going back in the jungle, hopefully finding so, another cat for me to show you guys how it's actually yes. done. So, so all three cats you have seen, the one in the house and the two out here, these are my cats. Mm -hmm. The other two, unfortunately. Yeah. On me and blew up behind me. And they were behind me. Well, you got so cut they off there for a sec. Back. Anyway, so besides that, here's some other farming stuff that you guys haven't seen. Um, if you've watched the, well, I haven't uploaded it yet, but the last episode of, well, actually, you, you guys should have seen this. Water, we can find watermelon seeds in mine shafts, and this is how they grow. They grow out as a stalk, and then you need an empty space for melons to grow in. So I guess we'll, I'll just mention that. And pumpkin seeds also grow the same way, so. Yeah, and I didn't know this good. when I planted these, so I was wondering for like four days why they weren't growing. Mm-hmm. And then he but came then I came in. on and I showed her the right way. Yeah. Alright, and the last thing here is sugarcane. You saw a couple times I was finding them out in the wilds. And they just grow up next... They only can grow next to water and they go up to three high. Um, they're good for making books and all sorts of stuff. Which and is going to be very, very important uh, later on in the series. So, yep. We'll just leave that at that for now. I'm just going to plant these extra two there. Um, I think that about covers everything out here anyway. Yeah. So, why don't we head out into the jungle? Yeah, and as and you can see, we can see find I live, cat. we live next to three different biomes, which I found interesting after a while. There's the jungle, then the desert, then the extreme hills. Yep. So. Alright, that, let's go looking for... I should have brought a cat with me. Yeah, you don't need one. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, okay. There's one. That was very lucky. So there you go, guys. That's an ocelot right there. A raw wild... Oh, raw. Why am I saying it's raw? Okay. <laughs> That's a wild cat, essentially. And the way you... You have to... Oh, God. Oh. You, you basically... You have to sneak up on it. And with the fish in your hand. And you have to stay basically completely still and let it come to you. It's not like the wolves in the previous episodes where you can walk right up to it and give it the bone and that's okay. Yeah. Cats are very skittish. And if you run up to it or you move too quickly, it'll run away. Okay, see, now here's a perfect example. It's walking up to me right now, but I'm moving very slowly. You even have to move your mouse cursor very slowly. Because if you move too abruptly, they will get scared and run off. And then now with the fish in hand, you just right-click them. And you get your, your fish. Now this one was lucky. It only required one for it to be all happy with me. So, And yeah, also, we'll just, don't they... They, they like to be greedy. They won't stay if there are monsters around. Alright, I need to... Right? They won't stay if there are monsters around? What do you mean? Like, no, they stay around. Actually, we should probably head back to the palace because it's getting nighttime now. Um, getting your... nighttime. The moon's already up. I know. But um, the way they work is that you have to let them follow you at least, or um, you know feed them or something. Because if you leave them alone for too long, then they kind of just become wild again. Yeah, they'll still look like tamed cats, but you'll they probably won't run have away to. From you you yeah. have to retame them if you yeah. want them back. Yep. Oh, hey, cool! You got a tabby cat. Tabby? Is that what they call them? I think so, because I think this one. Is, I think that's a tabby, and this is a Siamese. Mm -hmm. All right. So besides that, the benefits of having cats is that they um, creeper repellent. Yeah, they're creeper repellents. Creepers are 
afraid of cats, so they will, if they get in a certain radius of them, they will run away. So they're good, nice to have around the house, just so creepers don't end up sneaking up on you, and whatever. But again, you have to make sure you give them attention, because if you leave them alone for too long, they will become untamed. Yeah, so you could either feed them, or you could make them follow you for a while. Yeah. I recommend just letting them follow you, because if you feed them, they'll get, like, the hearts above their head, kind of like the other animals. Oh, and then... you can breed them, which is not a problem, but... Yeah, but... If you're not trying to breed Ch them, then what's the point? <laughs> I don't recommend breeding them, because at one point we had, like, eight cats, and I wanted to kill them because they were so noisy. We didn't have that many. Well, right, well we kind of did have a lot. <laughs> uh, that's true. All right. And um, just, just so yes. much meowing. Yeah, there's it's too many cats. It's, uh, so much meowing. Anyway, so let me put away this rest of this fish. I'm guessing we should probably just sleep off the night so that. Uh, yeah, so that we can go down into. Oh the, no, we want to show off the other thing first. What other? Off in the distance. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's yes. um. Let's go sleep. So. Okay, okay. And there we go. Alright, so nice and morning time. Let's go head off to show you guys another feature of Minecraft. Huh, creeper on the hill. And a skeleton. He's burning. Barbecued bones. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Huh, one thing I need to make is a path around the pens. Yeah, that would be nice. That's fine. Alright, so the, oh. the spiders won't mess with us since it's morning. And hi, Enderman. Enderman's still around, even though he should be running away. I kind of want to kill him just to get his ender pearls. Hey, don't run away. Get over here. Oh, you little... What? <laughs> oh. Don't be a bitch. Come on. Where did, where did he... Fine. He's gone. <laughs> Oh, he must have teleported underground or something. As soon as you started complaining, he goes away. He knew I was going to come and kick his ass, that's why. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. when you're not here. He hangs around the house all the time. What's, uh... The Enderman should henceforth be known as... What? I'll let you name him. What? Oh, Your name, like the, the Enderman's name. name. Yes, <laughs> he's the Enderman who stalks the house. So what's what's his name? Bob. Bob the Enderman. <laughs> oh, Bob. Bob, why you why you why you creeping up on the house for? Please stop it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm trying to build the basement, and all I hear is his teleportation noises all around the house. He's trying to find a way in. <laughs> all right, so this is a desert. We haven't really been to one before, um, as you can tell from the cactus. I'll just demonstrate this. Cactuses are obviously bad. You touch them, you get hurt. Which is weird because you can actually punch them and stuff. And nice way to mine up all of them really quickly is to just mine up the block under it. And there's some uses for cactus. We'll be getting into that, I guess, another time. There's uses for everything in Minecraft. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh, we should have bought some bones if we wanted to get some dogs. Oh, this is um, Tyga over there. Oh, I actually have two on me, so. Okay, so at least we'll probably hopefully get one dog. Yeah. And we just have to remember not to hit each other. Yeah. But anyway, there it is right in front of us. You can see up ahead is the next feature we wanted to talk about, and that's a Minecraft. Uh, I mean, an NPC village, Minecraft NPC village, whatever. <laughs> so. We'll just come up here and we'll show you guys what's up. Now, this place is going to be a little bit of a mess. Uh, <laughs> thanks to me. Thanks to unfor you. Unfortunately. But there you go. There are some NPC villagers right here. In his defense, it wasn't totally his fault. He got creeped on by a creeper and but, ran into yeah. a house and the creeper blew the house up. So yeah. that's basically what happened. Yep. So these guys here are your standard NPC villagers or the farmers. Um, you can right click on them and you can trade with them as you can see this one here likes an emerald for three pieces of bread which is not a bad deal um 
so we found an emerald underground in our previous server. Oh, well, on my on my server. And yeah, we can trade with them, and you'd get once you trade with them, you unlock new trades with them. Oh, uh, and this think, one wants I, three emeralds for flint and steel. What's flint and steel? I will get into that in a later time. Okay. I don't want to get into that just now. But and that villager's retarded. Yes, yes, he is, and he's still got. What is wrong with him? He he's he's gonna die. Yes. And he dies. He's dead. <laughs> Okay. This villager here is the butcher. They usually sell meat stuff, but that's the other way around. 16 pieces of raw beef for one piece of emerald. Fuck that. <laughs> this one has 14 for one emerald. Oh, oh god. Alright, but basically you can see that they have different professions. This one does not have a blacksmith, which unfortunately is what I usually look for in... Uh, whatchamacallit? In NPC villages. villages. Because in NPC villages, you can get blacksmiths that have chests, which have things you can pretty much steal for yourself, unfortunately, for them. But, yeah, I mean, this is that's pretty much an NPC village. You have different things. Here's a well. Get rid of that. Uh, and it's different houses and stuff. And you can steal their wheat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, totally taking so... taking advantage of this. I'll mention one thing. It's not in this update. This is 1.3.2. In the 1.4 update, which should be coming out in the next few weeks, they actually updated villagers so that, you know, if you treat them badly, they you will obviously face the consequences, depending on what it is. I'm not exactly sure 100% what it is, but... What constitutes uh, is treating them badly, like... Hitting them. Hitting them, really. Oh, okay. Um... So they... Or, like, oh, I, I'm not sure if you can destroy their houses and stuff and it'll count for badly or not, but... But I know for a fact it was mo mostly just, like, hitting them and stuff. Mm. Okay. So, I don't know. More on that at a later date, I suppose. But, yeah, this is NPC Villages. You can trade with them with emeralds. Um, you can trade other stuff with them to get emeralds, and it's a one big cycle. Whatever. So, that's that. Let's uh, go in this forest by him, I guess, and see if we can find some wolves. And there's one right there. Uh, <laughs> how convenient. I know, right? What is this guy, a priest? No, he's Scientists a librarian. or a librarian. Yeah, he's a librarian. Oh, pigs. Oh, lots of pigs. Wow. Pigs must die. Hey, oh, with one bone. So lucky. So here, this one's for you. In case you find another wolf. That'd be cool if we can like throw the bone and it'll go after it. <laughs> oh, there's some more right there. Up ahead. Oh, God damn it. Hey, hey wolf. Hi. Is this your wolf? No, this is just a random wolf. Mine's is the one with the collar. <gasps> oh, hey, one try. Awesome. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Now, should I demonstrate what happens when you hit a wolf? No. Oh. Uh, a a uh, untamed wolf. My my wolf just totally ate that pig. All right, free pork. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll I'll avoid showing what happens to an untamed wolf if you hit it. Basically, if you hit any of those wolves over there, the whole pack comes after you. <laughs> so, yeah. And they they don't appreciate that. <laughs> Which is why in the first time when we did the whole wolf segment, he, he was stressing to the max not to left-click the wolf. Yes. Oh yeah, I did kind of stress that out before, didn't I? Mm -hmm. huh. I forgot about that. Alright. So, that's about it for villages. I'm going to steal the rest of their wheat, because I can. You know what? Wolf, sit. Thank you. That's a good dog. Now I have I need to rename. Name, this I need to name. Wait, what did I name my dogs in the? You named it Pooch. Oh, my first one was Pooch. Oh, now I, you just made me sad. No. Why? Pooch. What? Uh, did he die? No, I'm not spoiling it for you. You didn't watch the videos yet. Well, I stopped watching them because I didn't want to spoil your tutorial because I kept learning things in your videos. And I already spoiled uh, it enough with my own curiosity. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm just sad now. I'm sorry. Aww. Oh. Pooch. <laughs> Pooch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm not supposed to be laughing at you. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor Pooch. He shall be missed. But no, what if I name a new dog? It was, it was. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm renaming my dog Simeon because Simeon was actually halfway intelligent. You 